This is a great moment in cancer research. There's never been a time when the possibilities of cure have been as great as they are today. And the approach we're taking here will accelerate that progress. The Koch Institute is a kind of experiment. It's an experiment in bringing people together from a lot of different disciplines in the belief that by coming together, we can converge these disciplines to come up with new approaches to understanding, diagnosing, and treating cancer. The approaches that we're taking, which are rooted in this concept of convergence, allow a new perspective on old problems, breaking down the barriers between those disciplines so as to bring the best of each of them to a solution to the problem. There's no other place in the country that is thinking about cancer and cancer therapy the way we are. This ability of biologists and engineers to work seamlessly together not only overcomes academic barriers, but really sets the stage for the rest of the world for what can happen. My team tends to think chemically and molecularly. Michael's team understands the biology of the cell. When we put our materials together, we can create new ways of addressing cancer that wouldn't have been able to be addressed otherwise. Our approach to detecting cancer early is to use nanomaterials that are so tiny that they can circulate through your body and detect cancer and send a signal into the outside world. And send the signal in a way that you could read it out very inexpensively on something like a paper strip, like a pregnancy test. So what we think is that if we have tools that can push the detection earlier, that we're going to be directly increasing the survival of all these patients. One of the great things about the culture at MIT is no one says you can't do that. Everyone says you just have to find the right collaborators. Right, so there's no barrier like there is at other institutions. In order to weigh a cell with precision, it involves many different disciplines. It involves mechanical engineers, electrical engineers, and physicists. It's many different disciplines that must come together to be able to achieve that measurement. I think a lot of people are thinking about convergent approaches. I think that the way we do convergence here is special. I think it happens faster because we're all sort of in this cauldron together. I've never been in as exciting a place as the Koch Institute, where the future's coming at us faster than I could have ever imagined. Patients are now living longer, some cured of their disease, because of the advances that scientists and engineers have made. To actually see that come to fruition is unbelievably satisfying and unbelievably motivating. The young people, the students, the postdocs, the young scientists who come to work here, they're excited to be on the frontier of a new world. And the fact that these people have all come together from whatever field has created uh, an environment here that motivates people to work harder, to collaborate more, to produce more than I ever imagined was possible.